Hello everybody, welcome back to World of Worship Bits for a, another game. Um, filling in some of my uh, what I'd call lower tiers, so tier 5 and below. Uh, this is the tier 5 German battleship, the Koenig. So the German battleship line up to about tier 7, up to tier 6, wasn't really my style. The Geneiser now, yeah well, it's a little bit more violent and the secondaries really come into their own. So. The thing about this ship is that at least um, the guns are a little bit more, as the description describes, a little bit more logically laid out than the Tier 4 Kaiser. Um, so, yeah, it's, um, its secondaries are good, but they're not really long range, and hopefully uh, you see me uh, drop into secondaries before too long, and you can see the circle really shrink up. So though they're fairly powerful for this tier, um, they aren't really long range so essentially if you're using secondaries um, you are pretty close and a lot of things at this tier have um, torpedoes so anyway we're detected which is likely to be a destroyer it could be a cruiser but most likely a destroyer is out there i've got my friendly nuremberg i've got a hatsuharu so i've got some cover we're keeping them up with them Maybe a little bit too far in advance, but anyway, here we go, the Fubuki, so what I'll do here is I'll keep my nose in towards him. And we let him have, uh, well, some AP as it turns out, looking at those torpedoes, he's heading them towards the Nuremberg. The Nuremberg takes two, driving straight through the middle, which isn't a lot of fun. Um, here's the La Glace I'm going to turn in, um, we'll let him have it. I it's hard to tell if he's, you see, this is the sort of thing, it's hard to tell if he's moving forward or backwards, but um, that's a great thing about having really poor dispersion, long range dispersion, because to be honest, like, you get some hits anyway. <laughs> so, um, and that's a pretty much a feature of the uh, German battleships, go and take on this New York, because it's a lot clearer what he's doing. Um, when you zoom in, you try and look at the bow wake, and if there's a little bit of white around the front you can see he's moving forward and if there's not well you try and look for a little bit of a tail to see if he's moving backwards although they're pretty slow so it doesn't show up and when they're side on the smokestack definitely gives it away um fortunately that little french cruiser is doing a really good job of um well of creating a distraction so anyway those are torpedoes that are destroyer initiated there's sets of three two sets of three close to each other like this uh, french cruiser has torpedoes but um only one set you get a reasonable dice of hits on him but not really a um sufficient to do him in um look at this, this nuremberg's going side on i hate it when the auto lock Basically creates a bit of a pain. The Nuremberg, you must be firing. Something's firing HE at me. There we go. We get a reasonable blast on him too. It is quite a sturdy ship. So um, German ships are sturdy. You can see I'm keeping my nose in towards that destroyer. I've got the uh, the cruiser there. Hopefully, and I'm just attacking the cruisers. Anything that's attacking my cruiser is not my friend. Because that cruiser is keeping, the, um, keeping that Fubuki at bay. Um, we've got a destroyer down near our base. Um, I get the idea of defending the base, but man, if there's, there's three of them down there, they can deal with that destroyer. Um, I'm heading off towards the Nuremberg. So our team, we've lost our our uh, our cruiser, but the destroyer's still out there. So um, fortunately, that Normandy is um, well. He's to the north of me and so is that destroyer, so um, I just need to keep a reasonable turn up. Uh, we relax out of the turn to bring our guns on target. We take aim as best we can. And um, here's the Fubuki coming in. Okay then, well that's a problem. Um, he's turning away. Which means that there's probably another set of torpedoes coming, so I start the I slow down. Really bring cut chop the speed. It is AP, but hey, you know, beggars can't be choosers. And there, like clockwork, his torpedoes. We snag one and accelerate back into the cap. 
Um, man, if this was a war sprite, that Fubuki would be toast. But um, yeah, well, the, the the accuracy on these guns is not even worth changing to HE. They do spread out quite a lot, not giving enough lead, which is a pretty typical problem. Until I give too much. Okay then, we are going to see if we can uh, deal with this Fubuki. It's only three. Oop. And we turn in to try and at least only take two of those hits. Flooding starts, and by turning in of course the other ones do pass on by. Oh, well they don't quite pass on by, but we take not enough of them to really matter. A destroyer to the south is dealt with. Get my first kill of the match, which is basically a point blank Nuremberg. Um, these probably launch torpedoes. We're keeping our nose in towards this guy. We've got our secondaries, he is within secondary range, and as you can see, it's awfully close. Um, 10 seconds remaining. I don't think I'm going to get this guy. Give him a full blast, hope for the best. No, nah, two seconds remaining, he's going to survive the battle. A bit of a shame. Anyway, that's the Koenig. It's a pretty solid ship. Um, a bit vulnerable to destroyers because, like, uh, the German line just seems to. Well, it's got a couple of problems. Well, it's got th they've got three problems. One is they have really poor torpedo protection. Number two, they have terrible dispersion. So you can't really. You're not much of a threat until they get close. And they do have to be tend to be slow moving and vulnerable targets. But against battleships, yeah, they're a lot of fun. Anyway, I hope you found that entertaining and educational, the Koenig, um, the Tier 5 German battleship, which is uh, you know, a tough little nut to crack with gunfire, but um, yeah, a bit uh, vulnerable to torpedoes. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed that, thanks for watching, and we'll catch you next time. Hello everybody, welcome back to World of Warship Blitz for a...